Good morning, John. I guess I'm old now. And you know how I got, I got to be okay with it? Here's what I did. I lied about my age. When I turned 38, I realized that there was practically no difference between that age and 40, both in terms of how I was going to feel physically and also how it was going to be perceived. So I just started to say I was 40, and now it's been completely normalized for me. So there was no sense of like a negative aging moment in this wonderful birthday, which was really great. I may have lived my entire life perfectly to have the best possible 40th birthday in isolation. A part of that is having a really wonderful family and a really wonderful child. And so I wasn't actually isolated, I was with them. But I also have a lot of practice at and experience with finding community on the internet. And I wanna thank you, John, and also everybody in this community for being a part of that for me. It's really helpful in these times. But there's a bunch of other reasons why I had a great birthday and I wanna go over of them. The first one is that I had time and a chance and the inspiration to write a song. And so I'm gonna play a song on this channel, which I haven't done in a long time. There's a piece of our anatomy. It's important and it's great. It's the final destination of that chocolate bar you ate. Inside it is inside and outside it is out. And I think it's pretty clear exactly what I'm talking about But there's one thing that I didn't learn in class And so I cannot help but ask I wonder what's inside your butthole I wonder what's inside your butthole Oh, maybe it is astronauts and maybe it is aliens All inside your butthole Oh, what's inside your butthole? I always want to know What's inside your butthole? I always want to know Oh, maybe it is dinosaurs and maybe it is monster trucks All inside your butthole if you saw the thing on Twitter, you know that I did not I did not write that song. It was written by an eight-year-old child who went viral on Twitter with a really good song about buttholes. I added a little bit at the beginning of the end to, to round it but out. But was that necessary for this to be a work of genius? No. Thing number two, pure serendipity. My son slept in. He walked into the room and he said, happy birthday, daddy, when he usually says waffles or something similarly demanding. Thing number three, my parents-in-law watched the Nerdfighter created all-star Smash Mouth mashup with Vlogbrothers clips but they don't know what Smash Mouth's All-Star is. So that was their first exposure to Smash Mouth's All-Star. Thing number four. <laughs> Finding the original is amazing, but making a Smash Mouth singamajig is next level. Thing number five, I was at the grocery store getting groceries and they carded me. And I was like, I'm turning 40 today and you you think I might be 21? Then I realized that I looked like this, so it's... A little less impressive. I haven't aged a lot in the forehead. Thing number six, Nun Pizza with Left Hank has now almost outsold Nun Pizza with Left John, and it's on sale for another, I think, two days. So maybe that'll happen. But in any case, waking up to find out that that existed was cool. Thing number seven, I literally uh, finished my last edits to my book and sent them in. And we're officially 60 days, two months from publication. Mm. Thing number eight, Catherine did something so nice that it literally made my year. I want to explain what she did in order to have other people do it for other people, but I also just want to cherish it in my own heart. And it would take too long anyway. I don't have time. I had to sing a whole butthole song. And also Arn made me this ladybug sitting on a leaf rock sculpture, and he made me a card, and when I asked him what's on it, he said, a spiral, which I thought, John, you would appreciate. Thank you, John, for doing things for me. Thank you, everyone, for doing things for each other. It's, uh, it's the, it's the real stuff, right? It's the real stuff. Sometimes I attempt to end eloquently. Not this time. It's the real stuff. John, I miss you. I'll see you on Tuesday.